Hey, Ozzy's boy here. This morning, we're gonna be cooking waffles from a waffle iron made in the 40s. Come along, it'll be good. Okay, first let me get the disclaimers out of the way. They're very important. Uh, before you start making bacon and waffles, always wash your hands. Next, and first part of the cooking process, is make coffee. Don't try and do anything without some good strong coffee. The next important thing is to dress appropriately. Don't cook bacon in your underwear. That could be a disaster. My chef's smock is currently at the dry cleaners. Actually, I don't have one. So a wrinkled t-shirt will do just fine. Mm. I cut my strips in half that way they're easier to cook and manageable and I also cook bacon on a cast iron frying pan. As far as preparation goes we've already talked about coffee but you also want to have some butter getting soft. Can't leave butter out all the time but if you know you're having waffles, take some butter out the night before, let it soften out. Lots of butter is a secret. Bacon's coming along nice. Make that first. A nice little pile of bacon started. You can never have too much bacon. Mmm. Bacon's ready. Got a sample too as you go. Good cook. That's why they're all so fat. Anyway, the waffle mix, same stuff. Two cups of peg egg mix. One third cup vegetable oil. Now, by the way, if you ain't making a mess, you ain't trying hard. One and a half cups of water. And whip up. Whip it. Whip it good. Okay, after you whipped it real good, uh, you got to let it sit five minutes. Good chance for me to tell you about the waffle iron. Okay, while the pancake mix is uh, setting up, you're supposed to let it set five minutes or so. That's a good idea. Uh, the bacon's ready. Now let me tell you about the Sunbeam Waffle Iron. I just got this from my mother-in-law who got it for a wedding present in 1954. My wife did some research. The thing was manufactured in 1946. Look at this. Cloth cord. No on and off switch. You plug it in and unplug it to turn it on and off. It does have a little light. Light, medium, dark. Oh, look at that. Now I had to scrub on this thing for a week and a half. It's nice. Four sections. There's more parts to it, but they can't find them to give us to it. So you can make grilled cheeses and instructions. If you're only making one waffle, which one to do, all that mess. So let's plug it in. And that turns it on and let it heat up. We're about to make waffles. Okay, the waffle iron is hot. The batter is set. Very important that you have some spray oil when you open it up and pour it in because that's the key to a good waffle. Make sure it's good and hot 
that makes crispy waffles. Keep it out on the clock and let's pour some in. There you go. All right. It is hot. Pour it in. Cover the whole thing. As evenly as you can. All right, close it up and let's cook. Pay attention to the clock, it's 9.30. The first one takes five or six minutes. According to my mother-in-law, when it quits steaming, it's ready and the little light is supposed to go off. Um, she is a wealth of misinformation, so I just kind of eyeball it about five or six minutes. We're almost ready. I can smell them. All right, it's time. Woohoo! Hot. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Let's eat. <laughs> Lots of our soft butter and lots of bacon never can have too much bacon and it's delish is it good get approved okay i forgot to mention the scary part earlier this 1946 sunbeam waffle maker with its cloth cord gets hot and it's very scary unplugging it to turn it off here goes It's off and there's a little three waffle one left Let's let it go just a little bit longer okay everybody's eating their fill and we got three left these freeze nicely let them cool off we got one kind of well done one medium and one light for taste preferences the waffle iron is unplugged and cooling off the hardest part of this whole deal is cleaning that sucker up. It's kind of tricky because you can't submerge it and you have to wash it. And uh, We won't film that. But remember, no job is complete until the tools are put away. Okay, hope you enjoyed. More bacon to you. Until.